Welcome or welcome back, I'm the Ink Archivist, and today I'm bringing you Colorverse's 2023 Ink of the Year. It is a glistening green ink. Glistening is what they call their glitter inks. This is a limited edition, which only comes in a 30 milliliter bottle. This was the first Colorverse ink that I had bought, and I found the uh, pattern inside the box super cute. I hope that's on all of them. I'm guessing that it is. So I thought I would use this ink in my Sailor Pro Gear Slim Blue Green Nebula, which has an extra fine nib. I thought the colors would kind of complement each other. But after I filled it, as, as you can see, I was having some problems. I ended up uh, spilling some of the ink all over my desk. <laughs> but um, after I got it in there and started trying to use my pen, I found that the there's so much glitter particles in this ink that it would not flow out of the Japanese extra fine nib at all. It practically didn't write. So afterwards, I decided to try and put it in some other pens to see if I could uh, get it to write in something else. So here I'm pulling out a Kaveco that has a fine nib. I thought maybe a Western fine might work. Um, it didn't. <laughs> uh, hardly at all, again. Um, I'm having a lot of problems inking up today for some reason. And so I have a Sailor Pro Gear Slim that has a zoom nib on it. And that finally did work. That's quite a broad nib. So I'll show you the notes that I took with this ink. And I did try a little bit with uh, those two other pens, but I went over my writing to get it to show up at all. And the rest is with that zoom nib. So that's a juicy pen. And uh, it's absolutely gorgeous on the page. You get so much glitter out of this pen. So here I am shaking it up. You gotta make sure that that glitter gets nice and incorporated. And then I'll be swatching it. I have Tomoe River Paper, HP 32, um, Apica, and then Rhodia at the end there. And again, there are so many glitter particles in this ink that it shows up really well no matter what paper you're using. Um, this was the first ink that I used that bled through the page of some of these. So if you are worried about bleed or show through, this is definitely a bit more of a concern with this ink. But I didn't notice um, things like feathering or spread as much. And as you can see, that's just a gorgeous ink. It's very cool. So now we go to the writing sample and I'm starting as always with my Hokuro with the Stub 2.0 nib. I will also be using the fine nib after this and it does work with the dip pen nib, but it won't work in those pens as I've kind of shown you. So. If you're thinking about acquiring this ink, it would definitely be a consideration of how many you know broad nibs you have in your collection. I don't think I would recommend putting this in anything um, you know smaller than like a medium European nib, uh, maybe even a juicy one at that, because there is just so much glitter junk in this ink. Uh, it will definitely clog up a lot of pens, but I think the effect is really worth it. The other thing I want to make sure to mention about its properties is that it's very readable because it's quite a, a bit of a darker green ink. So um, I think most people will be able to read it on a page, especially again, since you have to be using those broader nibs anyways to get this onto the page if you're using a fountain pen rather than a dip nib. Um, so that's nice. I don't have a ton of comparable green inks, so today I'm just using Pilot Iro Suzuki Shin Ryoku to compare it to. And I do think that's actually quite a close match. It's a little bit brighter than the uh, Colorverse New Year ink, but if you want an ink that's gonna work in uh, finer pens and doesn't have the glitter, the Shin Ryoku might be a, a close enough match for you. You gotta love how brilliant it is in the light. Again, you just get so much glitter. I think this would be the perfect ink for a Christmas card. So here I'm pulling out those finished cards again with the names on them. 
And um, I'm kind of glad that I only have a 30 ml bottle of this. I don't have uh, too many broad pens. And I think I'll just be using this more for like special occasions. Again, Christmas cards would be wonderful for this ink. But um, I think that's about it because it's not super practical. But that's my take on this. Do you plan on getting uh, the Colorverse Ink of the Year? Let me know. And thank you for joining me. Bye.